population of the world is increasing with most resources being fixed in quantity. This has resulted in creative ways of sustainably using natural resources in order to preserve as well as conserve nature. The Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology introduced the Department of Agroforestry under its College of Agriculture and Renewable Natural Resources to equip students with sustainable use of natural resources, especially land. This department was set up basically in 1991. Uh, it was done after the stakeholders uh, came with the idea that the university should have a department that will be able to train professionals uh, of agroforestry who will be able to ensure that uh, agroforestry uh, operations are carried out uh, as they are supposed to be. Agroforestry is a new science and by that time uh, it wasn't popular in Ghana even though our uh, ancestors or our uh, predecessors, our forefathers, they established cocoa with agro uh, that knowledge of agroforestry. But scientifically, uh, it wasn't there at that time. So that was the beginning of uh, using the agroforestry approach to be able to produce the trees and produce crops and even animals and the general environmental maintenance as well. The department prides itself in equipping students and neighboring communities with skills to improve their economic livelihoods. This is the reason for the agroforestry practices to enhance resource poor livelihoods, commonly known as the Appel Project. Through this initiative, they have been able to equip some individuals with hygienic, economical and creative ways of growing mushrooms. Others have been equipped with the skills and knowledge in growing fruits like mango as well as rearing animals like pigs, all with the aim of reducing the poverty rate in the country. There is also the Mentuko KNUST Fruit Processing Center which provides a ready market for the fruit farmers. Agroforestry uh, program is like that. You undertake an extensive study on how on a piece of land you could grow trees or you could grow uh, woody perennials with uh, crops and uh, at the same time animals in a different form of arrangement in space and then in time. You know that in recent times we've lost so much forest or tree cover and uh, at the same time too because of rampant uh, agriculture we have also lost the soil uh, fertility in most of our areas and because of that uh, we are trying to find a way that scientifically we can produce these trees we are saying they are gone and at the same time uh, producing food which we can consume because you know that traditional forestry will not deal with food 
and at the same time traditional agriculture will not deal with trees. So now it's a time we have to marry the two and ensure that we get the trees and we get the food without conflict. The, the state of agroforestry in Ghana now is very fantastic. As I said that the Ghana's mainstay uh, is cocoa in terms of economics is cocoa because uh, cocoa has been playing a very important role in the, in the country and agroforestry principles are being used for growing the cocoa and all that. And apart from that, we are also using that same principle to produce our trees and our food and even replenish our soils. So you go to EPA, they are using agroforestry concepts. You go to uh, forestry, agroforestry is playing a key role there. You go to NADMO, you go to research institutions like FORIC, they are all using agroforestry. And uh, uh, even MOFA, which is Ministry of Food and Agriculture, agroforestry is playing a very important role. I go to the mining areas, it's so fantastic that they are using agroforestry to rehabilitate uh, the degraded lands or the mine out lands. So you can see agroforestry playing a very important role in the country now. Graduates from the Department of Agroforestry become problem solving entrepreneurs upon completion due to the practical knowledge they acquired during their years with the institution. Yeah, the related challenges with that the agroforestry is trying to help is of the fact that in Ghana our population is increasing and it's not going back or reducing. We need more lands to produce food and to produce the wood for construction, for other purposes, so that people can have good life. Uh, now, because of the population increase, it's difficult to get adequate land to, for everybody, let's say, let's, let, let me say it that way, to grow food or grow uh, 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 trees. So, then what is the way forward? Now, the way forward is if we use uh, agroforestry, we can be able to, that piece, small piece of land that even a whole family can get, we can at the same time produce crops or food, can rear animals, and at the same time pro pro produce uh, trees for wood and for other products that uh, we look at. In giving back to these uh, communities, we establish community projects. And one of the key ones that we can talk about, we have even one in uh, Sunyani West District, which we call Appel Project. It is a, a agroforestry practices uh, to enhance resource poor livelihoods. And that is the meaning or the meaning for the uh, appel. It's a project that we undertook together with uh, University of uh, University of Gulf in Canada. And that you know, that project we assisted communities to uh, establish planting, uh, establish trees, establish uh, farms that have trees on. They also established uh, mushroom production centers. They also established uh, animal rearing centers and so on in the district to produce these basic uh, raw materials, uh, food crops, the trees, where we get the wood and so on. Even fruit trees were also planted to get fruits. And even that, we didn't end there. We went ahead to establish a, a fruit processing factory so that they could process the fruits and all those things that they can get uh, from the fruit trees. Uh, even some Gary uh, factories were even established to process cassava and so on. And from there, we realized that 
putting all these agroforestry interventions there, we were able to lift the standard of living of these communities. So this is a typical example of if we talk about the community services that, that the university is offering. Yeah, the research initiatives. Uh, we have been working in so many research. You know, the university, we teach based on the research we are doing. And uh, one of the key ones that we can talk about, uh, we have one that we did with uh, um, this uh, body we call the Kuraf. Kuraf uh, is a, a scientific body that undertake scientific research uh, in, uh, around West Africa. And we, together with them, World Bank sponsorship undertook some cocoa studies where we are looking, we, we, where we looked at the uh, how farmers could manage shade uh, uh, with trees so that cocoa can grow as a shoe. Because you know, cocoa is a skeophyte, meaning that cocoa uh, is a shield tree. It will always want to grow under trees. So if you don't manage the shade, uh, well, you may not get the output that you want. And at the same time to certain environmental uh, factors may also be affected negatively. So we were trying to do this research so that we know how much trees farmers should remove, how much trees they should keep to maintain certain levels of shade uh, in these cocoa farms. And not that research only, we even also had aspects we were looking at uh, how uh, they could get uh, some income even though that certain seasons they may they may not get what they have to get because you don't expect them to have a constant output all the time so like lean season how they can make profit out of what they are doing we were we were looking at all this research and, and uh, uh, that is some of the economic performance of cocoa landscapes we were looking at all these as part of the research and there are other research activities also value chain, value, value added uh, uh, research, where we look at the value chain. That one, we did it together with the uh, uh, Swiss Institute of Technology in Zurich. We, so that is also another one where we can, they can add value to the cocoa uh, along the chain. That is also another research that we have done. And uh, we have also done research also with the KCCR which is the Kumasi Center uh, uh, for uh, Research in Tropical Medicine. And uh, we have also done research with them on uh, socioeconomic interactions of human resources, where you come to interface humans and animals, they live, and then we look at how each other, each is benefiting economically or socially and so on, like bats coming to stay around cities and so on, and how they are influencing us and how we are also influencing them. These are also studies that uh, we have also been uh, conducting in the department as well. There are others too, even on the pipeline, that we are writing and they are also uh, coming and uh, very soon those ones will also will come up. We, have, we are also conducting research also on fires because the agroforestry we know that agroforestry areas that we do agroforestry, mostly they fall in arid areas where we have dry lands and so on. And fire is one of the key things that usually occur there. So we are also not neglecting issues of fire. So we conduct research on uh, fire effects, fire dynamics, and uh, fire management as well. And we even continue to even look at uh, the uh, climate change effects on agroforestry landscapes, on farms, and how much carbon most of these crops and trees are contributing to the atmosphere to offset 
uh, the accumulation of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. We publish papers scientific in, in scientific journals. We have so many papers that we have been publishing. And those are there on the internet. You can just go and assess. And at the same time, to, we also conduct uh, workshops. And then through that, we also let people know what we are doing. Occasionally, to, if we get opportunity on government platforms, we also share our research findings also with them. And uh, uh, at the same time, we are teaching our students. So you know that they will also go out and be ambassadors of what uh, we have found in our research as well. Let's all embrace agroforestry because if we embrace agroforestry, as our population is increasing, we can get food to eat. We can also get enough tree or wood resources around us. And uh, we can also maintain our environment uh, for all of us to live and then uh, enjoy our mother Ghana.